when I was in Nepal and we were going up to base camp Mount Everest, we spent time on some of the monasteries, which was really interesting because these monasteries are hundreds and hundreds of years old and the monks play these traditional instruments, an instrument that's, that's pre-guitar, which these kind of instruments I'd never seen before. So we recorded those instruments whilst we were at the monasteries to see if I could take those sounds and incorporate them in to modern day electronic music, which was not easy, but we did it. I was in India and came across a hung drum. That drum was a really peaceful and melodic sound that I came across and I just thought one day I'm gonna use that. Two of the guys who I met in India, who were the musicians who were playing it, I took their number. I said to them, next time you're coming into LA, we'll do a session here. So we set, they set up, I recorded a lot with them and I worked with them on trying to find a melodic flow. So they would just play, 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 and I'd say, stop, stop, that part there, that line, play that line like this, da -da 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 -da, whatever. And that gives you the flow, and, that, and out of the flow gives you the emotion, and that's what locks you into the picture. So I thought if I can, with that sound, make a melodic moment that just moves through the whole movie, you as the viewer will feel the emotion that I feel when I scored the film. These moments get lost in many ways because they're listening to it on their phones, their iPads, whatever. If I could take everyone in the studio and they could hear music the way you're meant to hear it, it would make you fall back in love with music. There's no way to explain something that you, that you will never hear.